Hi, Steve Walker here from Promised Money again. Today I'm talking about bridging finance and borrowing 100% of the purchase price. Now, most lenders will only lend you 75% of the value and normally the valuation is purchase price, but there are circumstances where you can buy a property under value. And in those circumstances, there are lenders that would lend you up to 100% of the purchase price as long as the value is high enough. Not many, but some will. So that could mean that you could borrow 100% of the purchase price as long as the value um, is high enough. And that generally means the loan cannot be more than 75% of the value. So if you've got a big uplift in your property, because you, it's not really a gifted deposit where it's coming from a relative, but it's got to be a genuine undervalued purchase. Now, if you go into an auction thinking, I'm getting that cheap, you're not really, that's auction price. It's not a genuine undervalued purchase. But if you are, say, a sitting tenant and buying it cheaper, or it could be from a relative, but it's not a gifted deposit, it's not quite the same, they're not a close enough relative, but you've got a very tight relationship, you could be buying a property very much more, uh, very much less than the market value, um, and could raise 100% of the purchase price. So um, here's a really unusual scenario that we've had recently. We had a guy uh, who agreed to buy a property which was partially completed. The person who was doing the build had run out of funds, enthusiasm and talent. Um, he could see that there was work to be done to the property which if he finished it off would dramatically increase the value. He agreed a purchase price down here and let's call it £200,000 subject to him doing the rest of the works prior to completion. So he then put his own time, effort and money into doing the works, didn't even own the property and he had a proper legal contract drawn up to cover this off. But when he got to actually buying the property, he'd done the works, didn't own it, but because he'd done the works, the value had gone up. And let's say it had gone from, um, in fact, it, this was the sort of magnitude of it, but let's say it had gone from 200 to 300,000 pounds. He was able to borrow a loan up to 75% of the 300,000 pounds to cover his purchase price. So that's the sort of trick that you can do with a 100% um, purchase price bridging loan. Um, now, with bridging loans, remember that, uh, generally speaking, you're not going to be servicing the interest, so the interest is going to be rolled up in the loan. So in his case, uh, if it was a £200,000 purchase price, he'd not need to have a gross loan which was more than that because it would cover the lender's fees, legal documents, uh, legal costs as well potentially, and the interest because he wasn't going to service it. He wasn't in a position to service it. He didn't have the cash uh, or the income at that time. So um, you need to factor in the interest element as well. And if you don't really understand that, that's not a problem. There's loads of videos on our um, YouTube channel which explain exactly how interest works on bridging finance. But here's the thing, um, for no cash of his own going into the deal, he managed to buy the property at 100% of the purchase price um, based on the value after he'd done the improvements. Now. Um, if you are thinking this is great, uh, I can buy a house that I want to move into. This was a business, this was a property investment deal. If it's a property you're going to move into, then it becomes regulated by the FCA, and your choice of lenders goes from there to there. Um, generally speaking, as I speak right now, lenders will still do um, purchase below value, but they probably won't lend you a hundred percent of the purchase price. It's more likely to be seven, uh, ninety percent of the purchase price and 75% of the valuation. So, if you see deals like that, don't necessarily walk past them. Think about how you might be able to structure them. They're great tools, these are, um, but uh, but it's not gonna suit everybody. So, uh, I hope that was of some use to you. If you uh, if you want more information, then do go to our website, promisemoney.co.uk. Definitely check out the other um, videos on YouTube, which are about, uh, about bridging, if that's what you're into. Um, and feel free to get in touch. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.